right, so today I'm gonna be, we're gonna be opening, opening this tin. Um, I don't usually buy these tins because, I don't know, I just feel like they come with a bunch of nonsense I don't need. But, this one I kinda had an idea for what I could do with it. Um, I do have a lot of cards that I need to figure something out with. So I was like, well, I could get one of these big tins. I'm sure this thing holds a lot of cards, so. <laughs> could be a, a strategy for me. Um, now, as a side note, in all fairness, I did already open this thing, the whole entire thing. As you see, there's no shrink wrap or anything. There's a little card in the corner, it's not there. My original plan was I wasn't gonna do a video. I thought, you know what, I'm gonna do this a little differently for once. I'm just gonna open it and have fun. But then I was like, no, I might as well make the video because why not? That's what I do. So, <laughs> yeah. Anyhow, let's get into it. Oh, spoiler alert, there's no good cards in the packs, unfortunately. But <laughs> regardless, um, let's get into it. So let's look at this. First off, we got an Inteleon, a Rillaboom, and a Cinderace. Are these rares or promos? Ah, they're just rares. Um, pretty sexy. Flare Striker, 190. Aqua Bullet, 120. But it also does 20 damage to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. And Hammer in 140. So out of all of these, Cinderace does by far the most damage. Yeah, I'm not gonna read the stories and stuff like I usually do. They're in this case thing, it is what it is. The coin, what's that, just Charizard? Juicy enough. Obvious, ooh, I was gonna say, obviously there's a code. There looks like there is no code. Hmm. I'm sure there's a code in here in general, though. We'll get, we'll get to it. Anyways, this is some of the other nonsense that it came with. I'll try to sneak this out. Come on, man. There you go. So for starters, come on. Operating at all. Sorry, but this is kind of boring. You're looking at nothing right now. <laughs> just <laughs> it just came with these stickers. So this is like the cover of this, but as stickers. Then you have these three. Those are the cards we got as stickers. You got a ton of Charizards and Pikachu's as stickers, and then a ton of those guys as stickers. That's all they are. Just goofy stickers. This this is kind of cool. It's a notepad. I mean, it's just those three. Like the cards you got. I don't really have a purpose for a notepad, but kind of cool. And then it also came with this, which I do need one of these. The one I'm working on currently is getting full, so this is great to have a new one. <laughs> nice deep plastic. <laughs> oh man. Anyways, I found the code. It was in this uh, package of cards. Let's get this out of the way. And here's the card packs. As I, as I said, they already have been opened, but Let's pretend they haven't been. See, I already opened it. <laughs> but let's pretend they haven't been and re get into it. Code, don't forget, you want the code, I give them out. So just hit me up and I can hook you up with the code. So for starters, this pack had an Aaron. Or however you say that, I always say Aaron, I don't know. When it evolves, it sheds the steel carapace that covered its whole body and develops a new one. <laughs> well, okay, seems meaningful. <laughs> Where am I gonna put these? I just chuck those there. Ralts! If its horns capture the warning feelings of people or Pokemon, its body warms up slightly. That's weird. Venipede. Its bite injects a potent poison enough to paralyze large bird Pokemon that try to prey on it. Bound sweet. When under attack, it secretes a sweet and delicious set, uh, sweat. That's gross. The scent only calls more enemies to it. Duh. Oh my god, I'm feeling scared. Let me just put something out there that smells delicious as hell. It's like, that's like, hey, let me just start cooking. That'll make uh, all these hungry people go home. <laughs> Ooh, Lapras, holy crap, it's only common? That is disappointing. The original base, base set back in the 90s, late, <laughs> Lapras was rare. Now they demoted her to just common? Ugh, it's rude. Crossing icy seas is no issue for this cold resistant Pokemon. Its smooth skin is a little cool to the touch. Next up, oh, full body hollow is just an uncommon. And it's a Clara. Choose one or both. Obviously both, why wouldn't you? Put up to two Pokemon from your discard pile into your hand or and or put up to two basic energy cards from your discard pile into your hand. Now my rare, a Cobalion. Not bad. I think I might already have this, but still not bad. Cobalion's pretty cool. Iron Will Pokemon. Uh, it has a body and heart of steel. It worked with its allies to punish people when they hurt Pokemon. Oh really? Well, Iron Will, I guess. Grass energy, that's exciting. Lucky energy, what's this? As long as this card is attached to a Pokemon, it provides colorless energy. If the Pokemon this card is attached to is in the active spot, 
and is damaged by an attack from your opponent's Pokemon, even if it's knocked out. Draw a card. Oh. So you could just keep drawing tons of cards every time you get attacked. Put this on somebody with tons of health. <laughs> Be drawing lots of cards that could be very advantageous put some strategy with that a porygon 2 uncommon that's pretty cool try attack flip three coins it does 30 for each head so it could do up to 90 which is not bad but it also could do absolutely nothing that's kind of risky even though it doesn't die in the vacuum of space it can't move around very well in zero gravity sounds like me on rollerblades or skates actually i don't know how to do this i get on them and then i get stuck i can't move and i watch all these other people flying around the ring and i'm like how <laughs> raboot irony because i get the cinderace volley kick during your next turn you can't attack jeez it only does 60. at least the uh, cobalion his metal slash same same thing you can't attack next turn but he does 130. this only does 60 and you're stuck and it only has one move at least cobalion well, I guess it doesn't matter. You can't move in general, but still. What the heck? It kicks berries right off the branches of trees and then juggles them with its feet, practicing its footwork. Okay, what do we got next now? Do we got any doubles evolving skies and vivid voltage? All right, cool. We're gonna switch these up. Boom. We're gonna do this evolving skies one first, which is already open somewhere, right there. <laughs> Oh, again, there's a code. You want that code? Hit me up, bruh. Eevee! Thanks to its unstable genetic makeup, this special Pokemon conceals many different possible evolutions. Yes, we've known that for years now. Psyduck! It has been found that its brain cells are 10 times more active when Psyduck is experiencing a headache. Yes, that's when he becomes a major psychic Pokemon. Temple! Looking like he's about to cry. It uses sound waves to communicate with others of its kind. People and other Pokemon species can't hear its cries of warning. Well, that's weird. I guess it says um, communicate with others of its kind, though, so I guess that makes sense. Woo, bat! Almost doesn't even look like a bat, but there's his wings blending in with his surroundings. <laughs> it emits ultrasonic waves as it flutters about, searching for its prey. Bug Pokemon. Makes sense. Begun. Some theories suggest that its behavior of forcefully bashing its head into things stimulates cells that affect its evolution. Yeah, into just a big ball. <laughs> I mean, that's what Shelgon is. First up, Full Body Hollow is a rare. Good guys. This looks like some of the ones, this looks like, I mean, one of the ones that I was getting in the, uh, the Halloween pack. I'm not quite sure if this is the same one, just minus the symbol over here, but it's still pretty cool. Pandemonium, 60 times. Reveal the top six cards of your deck to stack the six damage for each psychic energy you find there. Ooh. So this has the potential to do 360 damage, which is pretty insane. Imagine weakness. That's going to be 720 damage. Nothing is surviving that. <laughs> I think the card with the highest HP is 500, and that's one of those ones that's like the three characters in one, like the Zapdos, Articuno, and Moltres card. Even that wouldn't stand, withstand this. I mean, it wouldn't have the weakness of Psyche, I'm just saying. In the darkness of a new night, Gorgeist will come knocking. Whoever answers, that door will be swept off to the afterlife. And my actual rare is trash compared to this. Ampharos. Okay, Ampharos is cool, but I mean, come on. The other one's a full body haul. This is just regular. Electron Crush, 100 plus, made discard three... Uh, Electric energy card from this Pokemon. If you do this, this attack, there's 120 more. This thing can do 220. Damn, I'm froze. It still shines bright and strong. Shining bright and strong. <laughs> it has been prized since long ago as a beacon for sailors. Amphros. This is that third stage that's good. You know, it's like Flappy kind of sucks. The whatever Flappy's form is before that sucks, and then Amphros. Just like uh, Shinx. Shinx is here, yeah. and then uh, what's it evolve into? I don't know, but then Luxray is like, ooh, damn, boy. Grass energy again, the irony there, that's kind of funny. A throw at if awesome, Fla baby. <laughs> Single bloom Pokemon. Yeah, I guess so. You got one flower with you. Double spin can do 100 potentially. Damn. It gives its own power to flowers, pouring its heart into caring for them. Floette never forgives anyone who messes up a flower bed. Wow. It's a weird thing to hold a grudge for, kinda. Oh my god, you messed up those flowers? Boost shake. Search your deck for a card that evolves from one of your Pokemon, put it into your 
onto that Pokemon to evolve it. Then shuffle your deck. You can use this card during your first turn or on a Pokemon that was put in play this turn. Your turn ends. Well, that's it. You just evolve a Pokemon and your turn ends. Shogun, there it is. I was talking about how he's just a hard ball. Called an endurance Pokemon. Hard roll does 50 and flip a coin of heads during your opponent's next turn to prevent all damage from and effects of attacks done to this Pokemon. Nice! So you're not getting paralyzed or anything if you get a heads. No damage, no pa paralyzed, no asleep, no nothing. That's pretty cool. And you're doing 50 damage. Usually it's damage or, you know, something like that, like protect. This is both. It's not bad. Shogun lives deep within caves. If it stays shut up in its hard shell, dreaming of the day it'll be able to fly. Yes, as a salamance. <laughs> okay, next pack. Vivid Voltage. Ooh, destroyed. <laughs> Ooh, there's a code. <laughs> Skidoo! If it has sunshine and water, it doesn't need to eat because it can generate energy from the leaves on its back. Well, that is weird. Trubbish. Look at this pile of trash. Jeez, <laughs> mm, takes two energies for lucky find. Like, you're a pile of trash, and this move is all about, like, oh, just finding something good. But if you're trash, that would be in you. Like, why does it take two energies? Its favorite places are unsanitary ones. If you leave trash lying around, you could even find one of these Pokemon living in your room. Which is weird, because where does it come from? Eevee again! It has the ability to alter the composition of its body to suit its surrounding environment. Shop it! There's a proverb that says, shun the house where shepherd gather in the growing dusk. Just the dusk? Oh, okay. Shortle! Luck job, brother. Base Shaman. Even though this is jaw lock. Jaw lock, sister. <laughs> Apparently, the itch of its teeth and Impels, oh, wait, what? Well, of its teething impels it to snap its jaws at anything in front of it. <laughs> oh, okay. What are these stars supposed to imply? What's what's going on here? <laughs> okay, first up, full body hollow, just an uncommon butt mag cargo. He is not bad. I've used him in hauling plenty of times. Pretty good. Bright flame, 180. See what I mean? That is a solid move. Although you have to discard two energies, but still. Its body is as hot as lava and always billowing. Flames will occasionally burst from its shell. Yes, and now my actual rare is boring compared to that. Not saying Explode is boring, just saying the card itself is. <laughs> its roaring battle shakes the ground like a tremor, or like an earthquake has struck. Yes, that's the same exact idea, like a tremor, earthquake, same thing. I just have to like, double explain. Water energy, kind of ironic as we've been getting grass energy, and water would be weak to grass. Nuzleaf, and then we got a grass after him. It lives deep in forest. With the leaf on its head, it makes a flute whose song makes listeners uneasy. Hmm, didn't know about that, but sure. Why does it have two nips right there? That's kind of goofy. <laughs> Memory capsule, some DNA in there. The Pokemon this card is attached to can use any attack from its previous evolutions. Still need the necessary energy to use each attack. That is pretty awesome. It's actually really awesome. So if you have like a three stage Pokemon, you could be at stage three and use the move from stage one if it was anything worthwhile. That's pretty cool. Giraffe rig, manic tail. You may have your opponent shuffle their hand into their deck. If you do, your opponent draws four cards. Well, that's weird because that's potentially good. Unless they have like a lot of cards in their hand, like the other one. That every time they take damage, you draw a card. Then it would be bad, but otherwise, hmm. Its tail has a small brain of its own. Beware! If you get close, it may react to your scent by biting. I said beware the way I did because it put an exclamation point, so. <laughs> okay, next pack that's already opened. <laughs> Another Evolving Skies with Rayquaza. For a pack that's already open, I don't know why this is so hard to open. <laughs> oh, there was a code. <laughs> Duh. Chin chow, chin chow, however you say that. On the dark ocean floor, its only means of communication is its constantly flashing lights. I thought they were going to say that's its only means of seeing on the dark ocean floor. But sure, it's communicating. Fletchling. Its body is always warm. Trainers who live in cold areas apparently sleep with it in their bed. <laughs> oh, okay, I'm going to sleep with my little bird. My one foot, 3.7 pound bird. Love disc. That's funny. I'm working on a love disc. 
So in Omega Ruby, I'm trying to make a really crappy team <coughs> and go to the Elite Four with them. It currently consists of Love, Love Disc, Cast Form, and I think, um, oh, what the heck's the thing's name? Volbeat or Illumise? I don't know which one it is. It's one of those two. It's the red one. Who's that? Volbeat? <laughs> <That's cool. laughs> so I'm trying to beef them up as best as I can and see if I can take on the Elite Four with a really crappy team. Anyhow, Love Disc. Love Disc makes its home in coral reefs and warm seas. It especially likes sleeping in the space between Corsola's branches. Oh, yeah. That's right. I've heard of that. Gussifler. Looks like uh, Floet would evolve from this. I mean, this would evolve from Floet, but it's just the basics, so apparently not. Blot? What the heck is Blot supposed to mean? Especially on a flowering Pokemon. What's up with all these flower types they came out with? It's like they're almost going to make a new type. Hey, flower type. And then they just stuck with grass. <laughs> it whirls around in the wind while singing a joyous song. This delightful display has charmed many into raising this Pokemon. Yeah, not me. <laughs> Slack off over here, just hanging, committing suicide. Smack and slack. 30, and then now you're asleep. Really? <laughs> if it eats just three leaves in the day, it is satisfied. Other than that, it sleeps for 20 hours a day. So you sleep for 20 hours a day, you're awake for only four, and you eat three leaves? Those better be some massive leaves, otherwise, seriously? <laughs> How are you maintaining your 52.9 pound body? <laughs> Anyways, first stop, full body hollow is just a nick it. Common's pretty boring. Cunning and cautious, this Pokemon survives by stealing food from others. It erases tracks with swipes of its tail as it makes off with its plunder. Yeah, cool. Let's see what my rare was. My rare was is Pinsir. Oh, not bad. I'm not saying Pinsir is disappointing. I'm just saying, come on. It's not hollow or anything. It's super basic. Vice Coach. Damage from your single strike Pokemon's attacks isn't affected by your opponent's active Pokemon's resistance. Ooh, there you go. Although it's tough, it can't handle cold well. When night falls, it buries itself in leafage and sleeps. Yep, sounds just like a real bug. Doesn't like the cold. I meant that seriously. It kind of sounded sarcastic. I didn't mean that that way. Anyways, dark energy. We got a Floet again. That's good. Finally, something I can skip. A boost shake again. And a Shogun again. Good. Stuff I can skip. Gotta speed this up a little bit, you know? Last pack. Trust me, like I said, there's nothing good. I remember that. It was disappointing. <laughs> but let's get it. Talu. Looking like it's a claymation type thing. Like uh, Gumby or something. You know, uh. Wallace and Gromit. <laughs> it dislikes cold seasons. Wow, the irony. I just read that about Pinsir. They migrate to other lands in search of warmth, flying over 180 miles a day. Damn! How many hours are you flying for? Just so I can figure out how fast you're going. Yeah, ma. If it flaps its wings really fast, it can generate shock waves that will shatter windows in the area. Really? A three foot bug? I mean, that's, that's pretty big, but like, shattering glass. Come on, bro, calm down. Whooper! Taking a bath with a little whooper right there. <laughs> like a toy or something. This Pokemon lives in cold water. Okay, what is up with all the cold going on all of a sudden? Pinsir, um, Taillow, now we, those are things that don't like the cold. Now we got Whooper who does like the cold. What's happening? <laughs> What's up with this weird thing? It will leave the water to search for food when it gets cold outside. And ironically, it's October, so it's starting to get cold out. Like, what? What's happening? Dead end. Another one, just like this Talo. Another one that's like clay or something. This is the same person, Yukamori. Talo, Yukamori, yeah. Hmm. Its upper whiskers are sensors that survey its surroundings. Its lower whiskers are organs that shoot electricity. So, sensing stuff and electricity spikes. Got it. <laughs> Pick it back. Another bird. Let me see. You just like the cold? It may look spindly, but its neck muscles are heavy duty. It can peck a, at a tree 16 times per second. <laughs> okay, full body hollow, a mid-tank. So close to being our final stage, which would have been cooler. It flies at high speeds around the skies. When it finds its prey, mid-tank takes a firm grip with its sharp claws and never lets go. It's prey. What would its prey be? This makes me think like you're talking about food, but what the heck does like a magnet basically eat? Nothing. It's a magnet. Now the actual rare. Okay, good. Here we go. Finally. It ain't that juicy. I would have rather had something sick. 
but it is a full body hollow it looks like even though it's kind of hard to see and it is something different a shaman you know brand new pokemon so that's cool flower bearing people going pets your opponent shuffles their active pokemon and all attached cards and puts them on the bottom of their deck oh I mean, it's kind of worthless but at least it's slightly cool the blooming of Grasidia flowers confers the power of light upon it. Feelings of gratitude are the message it delivers. Yeah, you, know, you are the gratitude Pokemon. Dark energy again. Zeb Striker. The Valsum Blitzel. They have lightning like movements. When Zeb Striker run at full speed, the sound of thunder reverberates. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Coding energy. As long as this card is attached to a Pokemon, it provides a colorless energy, I think. Unless that's steel. I don't know. The Pokemon this card is attached to has no weakness. Ooh. Well, there you go. That's pretty cool. And Hero's Metal. The Pokemon VMAX this card is attached to gets minus 100 HP. Well, that's ridiculous. And if it's knocked out by damage from an attack from your opponent's Pokemon, that player takes one fewer prize card. You can't attach this card to a Pokemon VMAX that has 100 HP or less remaining. This is dumb, why would you want to use this? Yeah, okay, they take one less prize card. I don't know how many they're supposed to normally take. I think it's two, right? So I guess they're just taking one now, but like, you're setting them up to, to be able to do that by dropping 100 off yourself. I mean, yeah, usually VMAX have a lot, like 320, so you'd still be at 220, but like, come on. Anyways, yeah, that was the 10. Uh, the cards are pretty basic and the bonuses are kind of boring, <laughs> other than these three. And uh, yeah. I guess that's all i got so thanks for checking this out with me and until next time i said see ya and i hope you know that meaning like you've checked out my videos before okay anyways bye. <laughs>